Now, there's uh, no doubt the pandemic's had a huge impact on our local schools in many ways. And as uh, Steve was mentioning in the news there, Sandhurst Primary School is now calling on local businesses to lend a helping hand. They're on the hunt for laptops to support pupils' learning. Well, Phil Sherwood is head teacher at Uplands Primary School and Nursery, and I can chat to him now. Morning, Phil. Good morning. Thank you for having me on. No problem. Tell us what you need and why. <laughs> OK, so... Um, we've had two kind of separate issues come up. Before lockdown, uh, we had about 21 hours of rental income per week. And although some of that's been restored, we're still losing some of that income from um, generating hall rental. Uh, secondly, families who might uh, do above the 15 or 30 hours offered uh, by the government, um, they pay additional fees to us for their nursery time. That was halted as well, uh, especially up to the 1st of June. So that's created sort of between a, a 15 and 20 thousand pounds fall in what we projected and in our income in the budget we set in um, april the government has a fund that they are able to support schools with but it's largely around additional cleaning costs and costs associated with potentially having a case in a school so we don't qualify for what we're eligible for which is up to about twenty thousand pounds so we're, we're sort of in the middle of a, a gray area really where Lots of support has been provided for businesses and schools, but schools like mine and many others aren't really eligible for that. Then on a separate issue, um, but kind of linked, we have uh, laptops that we need and they're now in higher demand and cost more than before. Uh, the original budget we had for laptops uh, was based on the set of quotes that we got and we were ready to purchase, but lockdown held us up. So when we were able to order, the company said the prices had changed. They were now, some of them, double what we quoted before. So with a budget that's already set, this puts us in a really challenging position to be able to afford those. And the laptops that we're looking for, I guess, are for, um, they're for in-school work uh, largely and also to um, increase our staffing laptop capacity, both for in-school and remote learning. But in the event of a, a national lockdown or a larger lockdown, we could repurpose some of those laptops temporarily to support some of our vulnerable pupils with their remote education. Uh, we have quite a few pupils in the school that maybe don't meet government criteria for being considered vulnerable and that's a, a bit of a, a, a dangerous term sometimes when you're describing a, a family's personal circumstances but actually there are families that could really benefit from this. So is there a particular number of laptops you need? Uh, we're trying not to be greedy, but ideally um, <laughs> around, uh, well, we're looking for a class set, so about 31 um, of, of a particular spec that's maybe not quite as high um, as we're using it for, you know, um, uh, simple uh, programming games uh, for the computing element of it and also for word processing, etc. And, and research. Um, and then we're looking for another 10 or so for staff, which will be used heavily day in, day out on in-school and remote learning. So who are you hoping might be able to help out with this? <laughs> well, initially I was speaking with um, someone from Bracknell News and they, they sort of put the word out in an article. I, I think part of this as well is we're not just looking for a handout from businesses. We're looking for companies who have capacity and want to build strong relationships to help their community. So um, I'm looking for anybody who who feels they've got that capacity and wants to start to build strong relationships in their community with their schools. And I want it to be mutually beneficial for a business or a company to get involved with the school, as well as it be helpful for us. Of course, if anybody's out there that wants to just donate money or laptops, of course, I'll accept that. But it's, it's important for us to build relationships with our community. And if we can combine together, we can make a real difference for, for the pupils of now and, and effectively the employees or, or company owners of the future. I presume you're not the only school in this situation. You, you'd like to think you could perhaps start a scheme. You could be the start point of, of some sort of working together businesses and schools in this situation. Yeah, I mean, we're um, we're a national teaching school. There's about 800 or so in the, in the country. And um, part of our remit as a national teaching school is we work with a, a large amount of schools in professional development for staff, um, teacher training and um, school support. Uh, we do that under our name, the Forest Learning Alliance. So we work with an alliance of around sort of 35 or 40 schools already in the local area. And it, potentially, you know, if we could find something that would work and we could and we could upscale it, we could be able to help all the other schools that we work with and also the schools in Bracknell Forest. I know we're certainly not the only school that, are, that will be struggling like this. And if you consider secondary schools who have much larger facilities like sports halls that they rent out, they will be suffering from this um, shortfall in income as well. 
Right. How can local businesses get in touch then? This sounds like a make a difference thing to me. So um, come on, how can how can they get in touch? <laughs> it, yeah, it really it really could make a, a huge difference. Um, the uh, any anyone who wants to get in touch can find us on social media at Uplands Primary School and Nursery on Facebook, or they can find us at, at Uplands Barks uh, on Twitter. They can email uh, office at uplandsprimary.org, which will come through to me, or they can give us a call on our school telephone number 01252873069. But if you Google us um, and just search for Uplands in Sandhurst, then you'll be able to find us on, online and, and get in touch. And how much of a difference would this make to children at your school? Uh, for the for the children in school, we're we're managing the curriculum well with not having laptops for this short period. Um, but it will make a huge difference to them in terms of us being able to deliver a rich, um, wide curriculum for them inside the school uh, with the laptops that we normally use. We do have iPads as well, but my next project is trying to find uh, new tablets as they're nearly, they're sort of at the end of their eight to ten year life. Um, one but, step at but, a time, but, Phil, one yeah, step exactly, at a time. Exactly, exactly. So I thought I'll ask the laptops today and we'll see where we go. But, right. but in, terms of, in terms of some of our other pupils at home, we've done a survey on who um, has access to a device at home and whether that's a device that they can use just for themselves or whether it's a device that um, they're sharing amongst siblings or you know there's only one laptop in the whole household for parents as well so if if we went into a lockdown for some children their parents would need to use that laptop for their remote learning and they wouldn't have a device to to complete their remote learning on so for those type of pupils um, in our school and also for others it would make a huge difference to be able to access that rich learning from home so that they can come back to school feeling like they've they've achieved something and are, and are more settled ready to continue the learning Okay, Phil, we'll see where we get to with this. Thank you very much. That's uh, Phil Sherwood, head teacher at Uplands Primary School and Nursery with Councillor Gareth Barnard is executive member for children, young people and learning at Bracknell Forest Council. Gareth, that, this picture at Uplands Primary, is that similar to what you're seeing across the borough? Yes, it is. But can I start by saying um, just what a fantastic job Uplands and all our schools have done over the last six months. Um, you, you heard in that uh, piece from Phil his passion and enthusiasm for using IT in school to support learning in school to help teachers and if needed be at home learning and I think it's just worth reflecting that what Phil and his colleagues achieved was to actually literally reinvent the education system of England overnight at the start of lockdown and he's absolutely right because actually allowing youngsters to use IT in creative ways is really really important and there are some families where if there was another lockdown where they wouldn't have access to a device at home and, and Phil again is absolutely right. You know, he, like many other head teachers, has seen income drain away from schools in terms of lettings because of the restrictions on the size of groups that can use and also being really careful about who you allow onto school sites and things like that. So I'm really, really supportive. The local authority is, and we really would ask business to get involved. Because you know what? It's more than just technology. If you get those partnerships, they can be shared learning, shared experiences, and we've seen that at both primary and secondary. So... You know, we really, really are keen to see these partnerships develop. And what Phil talks about uh, as being a teaching school is that they're recognised as, as actually being able to work in a way that promulgates and shares good practice across other schools. And what we're very, very fortunate in Bracknell Forest is that throughout the pandemic and before, our schools work very constructively together. They share good practice so that for any business getting involved anywhere in Bracknell Forest, I think they would find it a really enriching and a really positive experience. And, you know, one of the things about IT is that if effectively and properly used, it can get, get, get children using it safely. It can get children understanding the value added to, to their curriculum, to their teaching and to their life experiences. So it's a really exciting thing. And I'm just very pleased that, and, and that, that the Phil has raised this as being a great opportunity now. Because is there is right. any support actually from the council for this, though, you know, while we wait for businesses to step up? Well, I mean, the government has provided some teaching resources through us, but it, it's a rather complicated picture because we don't directly fund and support schools. So what we do is we like to enable and help and support. So the commitment I can give, although we don't actually have resources we can divert to providing laptops ourselves, we will support to make sure in schools that any such partnerships are well supported and, you know, bring the very best for children. That's the great thing in Bracknell Forest, that, 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 that we do work with our schools, so actually we do share good practice, but we are absolutely behind them on this. We'll okay. do everything we can to promote and support them.
Great stuff. Uh, thank you very much. We'll stay on top of this story then. That's uh, Councillor Gareth Barnard, Executive Member for Children, Young People and Learning at Bracknell Forest Council. It's coming up to court.